you're like me, then you love watching desk setup videos. But changing your entire desk setup is very, very expensive. Desk accessories on the other hand, well, they can change the vibe of your setup and are a lot cheaper. Here are 10 useful accessories to upgrade your setup. First up is something that I had been looking for for a while, which is a headphone stand. I was looking on Amazon and other notable companies like Grovemade, but Amazon kind of sucks and Grovemade, well, I haven't justified the price yet. This one is from Banks and includes a wireless charging pad at the bottom of the stand, which plugs in via a USB-C cable at the back. Full disclosure, Banks sent some of their products to me for free to have a look, but nonetheless, I really like this one and I think it pairs really well with the AirPods Max. This is the black colorway, but they also offer one in white, which is more of a silver slash white for the metal and plastic components respectively. I often use the base to charge my phone while working or AirPods. I also place it at the edge of my desk so that it's slightly more inconvenient to get my phone in order to minimize distractions. Another little detail is that the curve at the top of the holder matches the AirPods Max exactly so that it restores the shape of that mesh part every time I rest it. Just a small thing. On the desk, I have the black leather desk mat from Maiden. Maiden? It's made of PU leather and has cork on the underside. I previously had a wool felt desk mat that was smaller than this, and after getting this size, which is 120 by 60 centimeters, it surprisingly makes my desk feel a lot bigger. Since I have a wooden desk, I don't want to scratch the surface, so my work base is literally the size of the desk mat. I highly recommend getting one if you don't already have one. One thing I don't like about this mat is that the leather is really soft, which is nice for your hands, but when you place something heavy on top of it, it will leave a dent. The dent does go away, but still. Sitting on top, I have my modded Keychron Q1 V2. This is like the third video I've included this keyboard in, but I'm gonna take every opportunity I have to include it. Why? Because I love sound tests. Keyboards are just one of those things part of a setup that tells you a lot about the person, the kind of aesthetics that they like, whether they're normal or not. For mine, I've got Gateron Black Ink V2s lubed with Crytox 205, and the stabilizers are lubed with dielectric grease. I also have some white on black PBT keycaps from PBT Fans, and they're really good quality, with no shine even after six months of constant usage. Overall, the black on black of the keyboard gives the setup a really clean and moody aesthetic. To pair with with that, I have a black coiled cable from CableMod. I bought other cables before, coiled, straight, but nothing beats the quality of these cables. Since the keyboard is not wireless, you have to have a cable, so you may as well make it look good, am I right? The cable is braided, durable, and does not deform when stretched in situations where I need to move the keyboard to the side. I mean, other than that, it's a cable, so. Aside from aesthetics, we also need the space to be functional. If it's applicable, I recommend getting yourself an electric screwdriver kit. This one was sent over by Hoto. It comes in a nice compact box which contains the screwdriver itself and a multitude of screw heads. It even has a little section in the box for you to magnetize the tips. I like that it's a simple little thing that contains everything I need. I usually use it for keyboards, but it does come in handy for miscellaneous things too. My only gripe with this is I wish there was a light at the end of the screwdriver, but just a little nitpick. Next is the Xiaomi light bar. Lamps are overrated, especially when your desk is not big enough, and this is what I've been using to light my setup. There are plenty of light bars online, but I like this one in particular because it has all the features I need without jacking the price up too much. Brightness and temperature. It comes with a little puck slash button that you press for on and off, twist for brightness and press down and twist for temperature. Pretty intuitive, very minimal. Sitting on the left side of my desk is my laptop, which is held up by this laptop stand I found on Amazon by a company called Human Centric. This is the black walnut wood variant and it matches the rest of the setup quite well. You can adjust the size of the gap by unscrewing the two sides from the bottom and re-tightening once you have the desired width. There's not much else to say about this. I mean, it's just something to hold your laptop up. You only really need it to look good and it saves a lot of space since the laptop is vertical. Something new that was sent to me is this iPad case. 
This is the Moft Snap Float Folio. I have a more comprehensive video about it if you want to check it out in the card. But the main reason I included this is because of this one configuration. It's basically an iPad stand. And when I don't need it, I can just put it away. I think it beats having a clunky iPad stand itself that you actually have to find a place to put it after you're done with it. Because let's be real, they don't look that good by itself. Finally, the last two accessories are quite small, but they both contribute to the cleanliness of the space overall. That is the Banks 6-in-1 digital cleaning brush and some wool felt coasters by Minimal Desk Setups. The cleaning brush is a pretty cool little gadget. Taking it out of its shell, one side has a microfiber finish to help quickly polish any glossy surface like your phone screen. The other side has a button slider. Sliding it one way will reveal some keycap pullers, which to me is quite useful. Sliding it the other way, we get a brush. That helps clean small areas of dust or dirt. Again, helpful for my keyboard. Then on the edges here, we have two arms that come out. I think they're mainly used to clean your AirPods with this fluffy stick that goes in the AirPods hole and the other side which has a silicon tip for scraping and a little brush. I thought it was a pretty cute little gadget and it comes in pretty handy. It's also fun to just like fidget with. From minimal desk setups, these wool felt and cork coasters are crucial for me. I like to drink coffee or tea at my desk and I don't want to get anything wet or ruin the surface. So these are perfect. I still do like the wool felt finish because it's nice and cozy, but because this material isn't that great for your mouse, I decided to only keep the coasters like this. And I do think it matches pretty well with the black leather mat. That wraps it up for this video. If you are interested in any of the products I mentioned, I have them listed below in the description. If there's anything I forgot to cover or if you have a question about anything, just leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing if you like tech, cinematography or vlogs and I will see you in the next video.